robbery at a Burger King has ended with a teenage employee shot and killed. Today, New York's Jessica Cutkin joins us live. Jessica, I'm told you're finding out more about the victim. Yeah, Gus, we now know that Crystal Beron Nieves was that 19-year-old who was killed during this armed robbery. And I'm told she just started the job here at this Burger King not too long ago. Now, the gate is down on the... Burger King shop because the manager says they're going to be closed for the rest of the day. But I want to show you some video mm -hmm. of the scene overnight and early this morning when investigators were combing this entire scene. Again, this is the Burger King right at 116th in Lexington. And you can see in this video, the crime scene was still blocked off here, this entire corner. Police say a man walked into that Burger King with a gun and demanded money. They say he shot Crystal, who was behind the register at the time, and then shoved and pistol whipped a female manager who was also working and the customer inside at the time. A worker tells me investigators got the surveillance video they needed from inside the store, but says the suspect was fully masked and was wearing gloves as well. The crime scene unit spent about seven hours inside the Burger King gathering photos and other evidence, but I did speak with one neighbor who says he comes to this Burger King all the time and he brought this white candle here, left it right outside the door to mm, honor mm, the victim mm. who says she j just oh God, started working actions. here just about a week ago. 19 years old. I woke up seeing it on my phone and decided to bring a candle down. Um, I got the white candle that represents peace. Um, she didn't deserve what she got. Um, we just need to get do something about the violence that's going on right now. We really do. We really do. Just so sad, and uh, investigators at this moment looking for the shooter right now, but also it seems that employees um, or people just trying to come to this Burger King and are being let in by other employees just to be together and to console each other. But again, the manager here telling me they are closed for the rest of the day. <laughs> A 19-year-old girl dead. In East Harlem today, I'm Jessica Cunnington, today in New York. What up, y'all? Money, love, my little channel. Rest in peace to the 19 year old that got killed up in East Harlem doing her damn job and some crackhead dope bean motherfucker coming there and shoot her ass dead. That's real fucked up. So all you dope bean motherfuckers out there, man, there's other ways you can get some money, man. You can pick up some cans. Or you can do some recycling, some yard work, or you can just get a fucking job like the rest of us, my nigga. <laughs> or you be the nigga that don't never fall off so you have to be doing this stupid ass shit now you gonna burn to hell so hey man all you all you people that are parents and your kids get their first job at their little fast food restaurant man watch their ass man pray pray over them so y'all leave in the comments man and one thing with that brother said that brought the white candle he said that uh Something needs to be done to curb this violence. You know, so we got we got to do something about this violence. What are some? I want to know you guys' uh, comments on that. Suggestions. What do we do to stop this violence, man? You know, we say so much up on this internet talking about people bashing people. Let's talk something positive here on the Money Love Channel. That's the place to do it. So, what you think, man? What are we gonna do about this violence? How are we gonna curb it? I'm open for suggestions because I'm gonna change the world. This is my journey on this Money Love Channel. We out like I'm subscribed to the next.